So Greening Riverside engages ethnic minority communities in the Greening Agenda. What is the importance of this? Well, there's the general importance, which is of making the best we can of the very small number of green spaces you have in a densely populated area like Riverside. So today, there's fantastic work going on making sure that not only does the environment benefit from it, but you get people involved in it as well. So people have a sense of ownership for the scheme, will look after it, uh, and are able then to tell other people yeah. about the great work that goes on. Fantastic. So what are your environmental plans for the future? Oh, well, you know, Wales, uh, like the rest of the planet, uh, is in the grip of a climate emergency. Now, this scheme is the broader scheme of which this is part is called Local Places for Nature. And that is trying to persuade people that everybody can make a contribution to tackling climate change. If you're not careful, it sounds like such a big thing that there's nothing you yourself can ever do that will make a difference. Whereas these very local schemes say to people, there are things every one of us can and need to do in our own lives. You add all those small contributions up and suddenly you've got something significant. Fantastic. So I've heard that you've got an allotment yourself. I do. Would you say that you're very passionate about the environment? Well, uh, you know, I'm very lucky to have an allotment. I've had one for a long time. And for me, it is just the chance to be outside. Oh, so many of us live our lives in offices, oh. indoors. Uh, and when you're outside in the allotment, you're in the fresh air, you can see where you've been, you've got something for your efforts. And I think in that way, it really does bring home to you, you know, what a precious thing the environment is and what an obligation there is on all of us to look after it so we can hand it on to other people in a decent state. Yeah, definitely. Fantastic. Thank you so no, much. No.